This is your host, Quasar Raspel, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot on the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for PlayStation 4. In the last episode, we took down a majority of the second island. At least I think that's what happened. It's been a while. It might have, on might have only handled a couple levels from here, but the point is, is that we made it to the boss of Area 2, Island 2. However you guys want to say that. Now it's Koala Kong and his... Wonderfully muscular arms and yeah, those legs. And honestly, I have to sit like this is the point. I have never fought Koala Kong before the Insane Trilogy came out. Like this is this is like that moment where. Uh, my younger self never got this far in the original Crash Bandicoot. I never had a, a proper... Oh, can I get him? Oh, no! Oh, if I hit him... If I hit that the first time, I could have gotten it. But yeah, younger me never got this far. Anytime now. Anytime you want to throw it. There you go. So yeah, uh, my very first time beating Koala Kong was on the Insane Trilogy. So that's actually a really neat thing for me. Okay, just gotta wait for a bam. Hup. Hup. Just gotta wait. Come on, come on. There we go. Easy boss. I'm not saying I could never beat him as a kid. I'm sure if I ever made it this far when I was younger. I actually don't remember. I know that this was the boss that I never fought when I was younger. So everything after this point, okay, I'm sure I used a cheat code or something to play other levels. But I never fought Koala Kong. I know I tried uh, Cortex using some type of cheat code that I got from some cheat book that was all the rage back in the day. But yeah, it feels nice getting this far and I have 100%ed this game before. So like just to, like earlier in this month is the first time I ever 100 percented the game though so ah don't think that of all of my years of experience playing crash bandicoot oh i have the infinite wisdom after 100 percenting at 37 times in the days of my youth nah this is all relatively new worse stuff to me oh. And down here. Little secret. Embarrassingly, I had to look up a guide for that the first time playing because... I Actually, no, I didn't. I live streamed myself finding that. Which I thought that was very interesting. It's one of those moments, why are those enemies down there? There's no reason any enemy would be down there because no one would ever fall down that pit. And if they did fall down that pit, well, the pit would have killed them and you can't bounce off of those enemies. So it's one of those things I pieced together, but I didn't manage to play through this. I didn't manage to find those boxes the first time through. I got every box except for them. Oh, oh that jump. I should just jump over it all together. Mm, tasty. Tasty, tasty death. I can touch the icy blue ones. I can't touch the red hot smoking ones now get out of my way I lost both my 
Ah, hits already, so I have to play it extra safe. Just kill all the... Okay, okay, this is fine. Everything's good. See? Everything is a-okay. Okay. Here. Checkpoint. That means I don't have to play through that section again. I love not having to play through sections again. Oh, oh I thought I was going to hit that. I am freaking out too much. I need to relax. Crash Bandicoot is a very relaxing game. It is... Such a peaceful game that doesn't get my blood pumping every single time I turn it on. It's just family fun. The kind of family fun you'd expect in a horrific... Oh no! Oh, there was a ceiling there. I could have killed myself so easily. Steam vents. Why do steam vents exist? Ah! Oh, sorry. I <laughs> need to calm down a bit. Is there a check? Bonus stage close enough to a checkpoint in this game. Yeah, I saw Coco's life flash before her eyes. Three, four, five. Grab you. Two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Enough fruit to give me a one up. So that's that was progress. Mostly in it for the boxes, though. I really hope this is not... I don't believe that this is a level that requires a gem. I really don't. But again, I could be horrifically mistaken about that. Steam and... Can I get that? Uh, do I need to bounce on you? No, I don't. No, I didn't need to jump on it at all. Okay. This has got to hurt her head. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm actually trying to remember, like, I'm quiet because I'm like, okay. How much more of this terrible level do I have left to go? And the answer is... I can't remember. I want to say there's not that much left to go, but I still have the embryo stage. That I have not... Like, I didn't get the third token for that. But then again, I didn't see the platform either. So I'm probably still good in that regard. Oh, there it is! Okay, so I got both both bonus stages, and this will probably give me another six lives. Ah! This is... Oh no, I'm remembering this one. I'm remembering this exact... Okay. Huh. Uh. <laughs> I don't like this one! Crap. Okay. Made that one just on the final stretch. Yeah. 
If I don't get my timing just right on these boxes, I plummet to my death! You know, I don't even lose lives during this one. I just... So, there's some solace in this. Okay, okay, okay. And L for loser. Because that's what he is. Because I just completed that bonus. Only missing four boxes. So all I need to do is find where four boxes are, and then I'm all good. What? There's one. Almost missed it. Bam. There we go. There we go. Just need three more. Ah! Aha! One. Two. Two. Three. And at the same time, I got 99 lives. Forty-eight percent done. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think I hear my dog crying. I'm gonna have to pause here, take a small break. Yeah, I had to cut there. My dog needed to be fed, but now I'm back. Probably didn't look like I moved at all for you guys. The power of editing! Though I'm not sure if my audio is a little bit different since I'm a dis... Oh, winded myself because I ran. But... <laughs> I, pro I might sound different because I moved a little bit away from the microphone and I don't know, I'm not at the exact position I was before, so that might be an issue, but otherwise, welcome to Cortex Power, a level that I am just, a level that I am just going to blaze through because I don't have the blue gem, so I can't, com I can't complete this level anyway. I don't know which path is the fastest, so I'm just going to try to blaze my way through it as best- Oh, I touched the thing. Yes, uh, you need the blue gem to even complete this level, I believe, so I'm not even going to bother. No! Oh, why did I jump? Why did I jump? Oh, there were rings around it. I thought I was gonna be all sneaky. Like a snake. Zap. Just gotta watch out for those lightning bolts. Got tripped up by them once. I don't plan on letting that happen again. I forgot to hit the exclamation point. Huh. Okay. Eh, let's just go in here. I don't feel like jumping on all those boxes right now. Sorry, Coco. Next work. I think next is going to be a color gem stage. So there's at least that. 
I believe it is that. A generator room? It is. It most certainly is. That means I have to break every single box in a stage without dying. Everyone knows how easy that is. It's the easiest thing in the world. I bet none of the levels where you actually have to die, uh, where you actually have to get a color gem are that hard anyway. I'm definitely not terrified of slippery... What was that one again? Slippery climb. Absolutely not terrified of the idea of it. Nope, no sir. I am so calm. Okay, one of the tokens. Oh. Then just move along here. Checkpoints mean nothing to me. Got to get the timing just right. I'm so paranoid at everything. Yes, and you know, you know the weird thing? Aku Aku barely helps either, because... <laughs> most of the deaths that occur are actually deaths by pits, so it doesn't even matter, but... Making good progress. Just beat the bonus. Oh, you. Oh, depth perception. I thought it was farther away. Okay. Just realized I think the clicking is showing up on the audio, so that might get annoying to some people. Doesn't matter. Oh, no! I was so close. Okay, and I made it back to where I was before. All I need to do is step on this. Then step on this, and then come over here, and now we're making progress again. Didn't even die. Did not even die making it to this point. Got a checkpoint, but they mean nothing to me. Oh man, oh man. Why you gotta do this game? And that looks way too high up. Ah, ah. And got it. Oh, okay. Please don't move. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Huh. Oh no, not depth perception moving. I forgot about this. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Freaking out here. Got you. Got you, got you. It's a gem! I got the gem! I got it! So happy. And it's a color gem! Yes! Yes! Alright! I think I'm gonna call it for this episode though. Next time on Crash Bandicoot, we're going to be continuing. I think it's. I think it's a boss. I do think it's a boss. No, it's another color gem. Yay. Oh, but we'll be we'll be uh hand you know what? No, it's it would be easier. More content. It would be easier if I got all the color gems right now. Well, all this color gem as well as the uh bleh, as well as the last one in this one video. It would just make editing easier if I just have to edit one video. It also makes the timestamps a lot easier. I know that I, I I know that 
doesn't explain a lot, but also I know that this is an incredibly short level. How many boxes? 39. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. This is, this is an incredibly short level. Ah! As I was saying, this is an incredibly short level. They give you an Aku Aku right off the bat. All you have to do is go in a straight line. Like a majority of Crash Bandicoot levels, to be honest. But yeah, it's got a real... You know, I bet it's compared to this a lot, but it definitely has that Donkey Kong feel to it. And heck, if you were fast about it and you didn't even worry uh, about getting all the crates, you could make it through a massive section of the this level before the crates even came down at you. But of course, I'm going for all the boxes. I'm going for all the boxes without dying once. I mean, that time where I died previously, we're not talking about that. Okay. Oh, and by the way, in case anyone is curious, uh, there are marks on the floor to let you know where, uh, where they will bounce. So it's not completely random. Like, I, I don't know if, how, like, where I'm standing right now, there's a scuff on the floor. That is where the bear where the barrel will bounce. Okay. Oh! That was... That was an issue. Because now we're nearing the final stretch. Oh no. Oh no! Hey, I did it. Doesn't matter if I... <laughs> if I explode them all, it still counts. How many boxes do I have left? I got them all! Okay, all I have to do is beat it without dying! As I was saying, all I have to do is beat this level here without dying. Blue gem, get, I did it. Screw this level. Really short, but I still don't like it. Yes! Alright, that is... That is two color gems in one episode. Makes my editing a lot easier. And I think next is a boss. Is next a boss? Show me, game. Show me it's a boss. It's Potoroo, right? It's Pinstripe Potoroo. We'll be doing that next time on Crash Bandicoot. So, until then, this has been your host, Cosa Raspel. Hoping to see you in the next video, and signing out.